Hey everyone, this is Zero Prime and welcome to another edition of Zero Review, a series in which I look back on the games I played on my channel and give you my thoughts and opinions on said games. Now in today's episode we'll be talking about an interesting game that I played from Steam called Lucia's D Make. Now to some people that may not know not may not know or ever heard of the term D Make, essentially it's the polar opposite of a remake. If a remake of something is something that you approve upon with better graphics and such, a demake is something that you basically downgrade the game, but still keep it fun. So you basically take a game like Lucius, but then you downgrade it into like, you know, a more pixelized style gaming that you were found that you were, were played the game if it were made like in some many years ago. Now I haven't played the original Lucius, nor have I played the second game on Steam because I haven't got a chance to try it yet, especially now that, you know, especially at the time of recording this, I'm still in Beijing, China, so... In any case, Lucius is basically a game in which you play as a little boy in this, fam in this wealthy family that the father is starting to, you know, be try to become a, um... a governor or a senator, I can't remember, but... a dark secret arrives where basically his, fa his father's... It's actually a the Satan worshipper, and that Lucius, the kid you're playing, is actually the son of the devil, which is basically the cold classic where the Antichrist about to bring the end of the world. And basically, throughout the games, you have some you have missions to perform and everything to basically kill off your family members, to increase your powers, to basically start the process to bring the end of the world. Of course, there's a lot more to the end of that, but like I said, I don't want to spoil that game of what happens. But... I have noticed though, of course, from other people that have played the original Lucius game, that they have edited some things out from the d -make, which involves, I think, a relative or someone who's having an affair with a maid or something, I can't remember. But, um, oh, hold on. Ah, just a little sip of water. But basically they edited that out for the D-Make because of obvious reasons. But for the, for, as a D-Make though, it is pretty good for, you know, taking a game that, you know, involves 3D graphics and everything and managing it to make it into a more, not 16-bit, but more like another bit eras of gaming and still make it fun and enjoyable to play. So I would say if you ever get a chance to get this game on Steam, I would definitely say give it a shot and then you can try to then you can try the first Lucius game to, to see the comparison of the two. And like I said, eventually one day I'll play the first Lucius game and then you know you'll definitely get a not only see a playthrough of that, but also hear a review of that as well. So, in any case, thanks for watching everybody, and as usual, leave a comment below, subscribe for more for your update, share this on your Facebook, Twitter, Tumblr, and all other social medias, and don't forget to hit the like button to help out the channel, and to turn on the notification bells to stay up to date on my channel. And if you guys want to help me out in some shape or form, I do have a Patreon account down below, and as usual guys, thank you for watching, and have a pleasant day. Bye bye!